Hey team, and welcome to another Too Many Projects. I am going to be restoring this vice today, which is a record number three vice, and I've had it for many years. When I got it out to start using it in the new garage, I realized how awful, I mean, it wasn't in great condition when I got it. Um, it sticks now though, and it's just, so full of gunk um, and it looks terrible it was a bit more well a bit more camouflaged in the old basement uh, where everything was a bit damp and slimy but um, now we've got the new garage I figured I'd get it out and rather than just you know lubricate it and, and make sure it's working properly I do do a half decent job of, of, of making it look nice again Look at all that gunk. It is bad. It's just dried up old grease and projects sanded into it. So, time to get the degreaser out. Give it a good scrub. See if we can get rid of all that nastiness. I think there's like a blue, can you kind of see a blue hue there? It's never been blue in my possession. I imagine it would have been blue originally. All right, so to paint and kind of want to be a bit creative here, so just Add a bit of a play with the logo. See what you think. Meant a little bit more, a little bit more messing about. It meant a lot more masking. And so here I'm just sanding the faces a little bit because they've got pitted over the years and they're not as smooth as they were and that's where all, where all the different pieces of metal move together. I'm just getting them nice and, nice and smooth again. All right, and then on with some primer. This took a lot longer than I make it look on here. And then on with the color as well after that. And then a little bit more messing about with the logos.
And then with all those logos showing again, I gave it a coat of clear as well. I imagine this beautiful clear coat I'm putting on it will get fairly damaged as soon as I wave a hammer near it, but I feel like it's worth it because it's a new, new garage. You know, it'll, it'll still last. Like, I mean, the color will still last and it'll protect it for a lot longer as well. This is such a moment. I love pulling the masking tape off after a job like that. Oh, by the way, I missed filming taking the jaws off. It was an absolute nightmare getting them off. They were rusted in solid. I had to use various tools and a torch and everything. I'm sorry I didn't film that. Now, I don't know how you lubricate your vice. I'm trying to be as minimal as possible here because I feel like a lot of that grime and dirt has got sucked on there because of too much grease flying around. So I've put the, the lightest, the lightest misting of grease on the sliding faces and then I've cleaned up as much as I can around it. And I've just used a light oil on the, th on the thread of the screw itself just to keep everything moving but not to overdo it. Hope you appreciate I've painted the underside of the vice as well. If anyone ever sees that, they'll be impressed. So as I said, these jaws got stuck on. So I've gone and got some Allen bolts to put in there, which will be easier to unscrew and given everything a nice, healthy coating of copper ease. So the next time they come off, it won't be as hard, even if it is in 20 years. And then I'm doing the right thing here. I've gone and found the right bolts that fit in the holes and then I've drilled them in the right place so it doesn't keep moving around when I use a lot of leverage on it in the future. I'm pretty pleased about that. And there it is. Look at that. Shiny. It might as well be a new vice. I'm extremely pleased. Hope you're enjoying it too. I love it. It's going to be the centre of the workshop. Definitely. It's going to get a lot of use. I hope you enjoyed coming along on that little journey with me just for a minute. Have a good one. I will see you on the next video.